Hi friends, if you want to create a advanced e-commerce website with multi-vendor facility that is e-commerce marketplace website, this video is for you. In this video, we are going to create a modern design simple look e-commerce website and for this we are going to uh, use a wonderful WordPress theme called Besha. Besa is Elementor Marketplace WooCommerce theme and this theme is really wonderful that as it comes with all the features that you need for a marketplace website. The theme has been developed by the theme Bay and they are elite authors and it came into existence in 2019 and regular updates for this theme is also being done and you can Avail all the multi vendor auctions uh, features and it is multi vendor auction WooCommerce theme. So this this is going to bring all the features that you need and like so you can create your own auction website similar to eBay, you bid 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 So auction options are ever will be available with this theme and. In this video we are going to completely overview the theme features the installation process and the demo content import process so that you may decide about this theme but wait only knowing the theme name is not going to be sufficient for you you should understand the complete features and functionality and only this video can give you all the complete overview of besha wordpress theme and even if you are selecting other themes there are many great themes available on the wp themes channel you can explore those uh, as well but until you explore all the options uh, and the, any particular theme is not matching your requirement don't take this that particular theme don't decide anything so watching this video is going to be necessary if you are really serious about making your website successful because after you choose and implement any particular theme changing that theme when your website is up and running is really become really going to be difficult for you okay so let us proceed towards overviewing the theme and for this we are going to install besa wordpress theme and the best part of this theme that you can have a demo installation already try it for free so this is a demo installation it is already available uh, i will share the link in the description of this video and you can have this demo installation to understand the complete theme features and token is already here so as i said this is going to be a marketplace wordpress theme and it is really good that the demo is available and you can explore the theme features by using this options app available in the demo installation but yes in this video we are going to install this theme from press at our hosting so that you may we may understand the installation process as well and actually how uh, the installation process is going on the demo instance is created by the original developer that may be uh, the, those people may be very advanced in wordpress but we have to understand this uh, installation process as uh, we are assuming we are new or mm, completely going to make a new website using the base of wordpress theme okay so i have this press installation and this is using the latest version of wordpress that is 5.9 as on date and 2022 wordpress theme by default and i got the theme pack in the theme pack i have documentation licensing some plugins are here so revolution slider is here sample data has been uh, given for style one and two and theme has been theme files are here so main theme file child theme file base are linear icons of child jeep is also available so we are going to use this file for our installation process to install the theme we have to be in the appearance section of wordpress first of all and click on add new the default theme is here so 2022 and we are going to upload theme choose file and here we need to choose uh, visa.zip file that is available under the theme folder uh, of the theme pack don't try to upload the complete folder 
you just need to upload the base.zip file this is only installable theme file and if you are having direct access on your wp content themes folder either through the ftp manager or the file manager you can upload the same file directly to wp content themes folder i am doing the same i wish to save some time and i wish to show you this theme file size in fact okay so theme file size is really very less and it is a well optimized theme and it is going to work very fast on your website so i'll show you the speed as well so this is the demo installation by the developer and we are going to create the same instance at our installation you can see the speed it is working very fast and the if any e-commerce website and even any general website is having speed it is going to be successful it is the key of success speed is the key for success of any website nowadays so if it is working fast it is going to be successful most of the in most of the cases but rest of things are also uh, important for websites and okay so we have uploaded the theme and okay we can go back to the okay this is the screen where we uploaded the theme and now progress bar is turned green with 100 percent we can go back and extract the uploaded file this is the file that we uploaded and now i am extracting it and the extraction outcome is this pesa folder in which we got all the theme components folders and files are here and okay so this is being used just now we have already extracted it and now we can delete this okay that is wonderful now let us come back to the theme section again and besa is available here as another theme option along with the default theme and let us check the details this is vesa version 2.1.1 this is Elementor Marketplace WooCommerce theme. So, of course, this theme uses Elementor as base builder. Let us activate the theme. And upon activation, we got an alert that we need to install certain plugins in order to get the complete features and functionality of the theme. Let us see what is here. So, these are 11 plugins that is available for installation here. And of course, WooCommerce is here. This is a um, uh, e-commerce website. Revolution slider is being used for hero images. These are some associates of WooCommerce. And REST plugin are marked as required. And we need to install all these plugins. CMB2 is here. Contact form 7. The page builder is Elementor. MailChimp for subscription and all these things. And this theme uses Redux framework. This is a great combination with Elementor. Technically, it is most advanced. This framework works very fine. And Theme Bay Elementor has been developed by the original theme developer itself to make the compatibility with the Elementor. So these plugins are really very good and important for our website. It is going to bring wonderful features at our website. And I am choosing to install all 11 plugins in one go and if you are not confident about your server capacity just install the plugin one by one to avoid any error during the plugin installation process and you can avail a great hosting plan by following the link given in the description and you can see all plugins got installed uh, within seconds and i was saying that just follow the link given in the description get the theme get the hosting plan get the domain and everything that you need to start your website and even once you start communication with us we are going to give you installed wordpress theme at your hosting so everything is here just follow the link and now we have successfully installed all the plugins now this is the time where when we need to activate all the plugins and this can also be done in a single click now i am activating all the plugins so it may take a bit okay so all installed plugins successfully installed simply click on the dashboard uh, whether to check it needs the woocommerce may require certain information okay so it is redirecting to woocommerce installation page and here we need to put certain information as applicable for you and i am going to put some simple lines and you have to put the original one as applicable for you so it is very simple 
to follow the on screen instructions and you will be able to complete this no, thanks and you can select the relevant category for which you are creating your shop physical products should be here and here we don't need uh, we can select the number of products and we don't need any free plugins so just uncheck this and uncheck this okay so continue here continue with my active theme that is base size here so now we have completed the installation of woocommerce as well so now we have multiple new tabs in form of new features so i am going to show you these all additional tabs what these tabs are bringing at our website but first of all let us uh, complete our website and uh, we can take a look up our website meanwhile how it looks with the theme and all set of plugins so this is the basic look of Besha and it is not showing anything as of now because it don't have any data and we have a target website like any of these so at this stage we have to import the demo content just in case if you want to make your own design with your wireframe and all own design blocks you can start building your website from here because you are going to get all the features of theme and plugins from this stage because we have already installed the theme and plugins but yes wordpress is known for the pre-made website and you don't want to i believe you always want to have this already pre-made website and you just need to put your own content your own store uh, products so that you may start your website very quickly so let us go to for uh, demo content import and come back to the dashboard and i will find where the demo importer is available theme setup option is laying under uh, appearance tab and i believe this will bring all this demo as well and this can be a setup wizard let us check here i am not hiding nothing so everything in my videos are on a screen and i don't use to hide anything this is why these videos are being made so that you may understand the complete installation process everything about in any particular theme or plugin whatever so this is the installer screen and where we can start through the on screen instruction and first of all we need to install the child theme and later we have to activate reactivate the main theme so, so now for the timing for the installation process child be child theme uh, has activated and we have already installed the plugin so it is uh, we saying you are up to speed okay so let us proceed to next screen and here we have the selection and we can select everything here so base style one and what we can select here so base style one base two is here so we can select base two style or one style whatever so as you need for your website so i am choosing home one base style two by default it has been selected and we can select what content we need at our website so this is being a new website so already mm, uh, all the elements all the contents has been selected by default so i am continuing with my home one and all content so simply click on import and now the progress bar this percentage bar is going to show how it is going in the background i mean what percentage is complete and you can check the import process by opening the media in new tab don't disturb this screen because you cannot replace this page you cannot hit the back button until you get any message on the screen and yes it should be undisturbed and you have to wait until it reaches to 100 percent yes meanwhile we can check the media library in another tab so that we may 
be sure that everything is going fine yes so media items are coming and as of now in just few seconds 105 media items are here so import is going fine and very fast so we have to wait here and it is as of now on 13 percent so let us wait with our due patience and content is now complete and rest of things will be complete soon so it will not take time so now it is going to next screen and it took hardly four or five minutes for me and same should be for you as well and, and now uh, all done happen message is here and it is very good message while i am installing any particular theme so let us take a look of our website how it looks now and yes something good is loading and yes the complete website is here and okay so all media items the complete website with all the features wonderful so this is complete e-commerce website and we got all the elements here without any doubt it is really wonderful and it is good that all images has also been provided just in case we need to use any image that may be a copyright issue but yes and the complete website has been provided in the demo itself so we don't need to do any further uh, customization so this is a complete website so you we can check the pages as well best selling product let us say there are multiple pages okay wonderful and it is really working very fast and this is the beauty and this is why i have chosen and this theme to be on this channel because wp themes brings only selected well checked themes for you uh, so that you don't need to explore further after watching these videos and you can uh, use the selected theme directly for your website and this is the demo uh, I mean this is the page for vendor registration and this feature is also available and this is going to be registered now option let us see if it is working okay so it is somehow going to the developer website don't so okay so this is the login my account dashboard is and checkout is also available here so all elements working fine as we see and now we are confident this that we are going to make a wonderful website using this base award machine and, and now i'm taking you to the dashboard to check what we got in this installation first of all i wish to confirm you i wish to uh, inform you that token uh, is not available here as of now and if you are willing to create multi vendor website you need to install Dokken separately and if you are willing to have pro features of Dokken you need to take licenses for those, those pro features however uh, you can install Dokken additionally but by default it is not supplied by the developer and you can have these Dokken plugins in add new section I believe Dokken is available freely uh, maybe. Dokken is so in the theme developer Dokken has been shown here but in our installation it is not here so I, I I just so I just wish to show you the difference what theme developer is saying Dokken is here but we did not receive this token and Dokken is a pro features we can check this is the developer website this is not ours and upgrade the token pro so token should be a plugin okay so i wrote the wrong spelling i'm so sorry okay so token can be installed here uh, in addition additionally but uh, yes you can simply install the token and uh, start using multiple vendor facility uh, it is going to be support fully this theme is going to support token and token is available in the plugin section so you can install Dokken. So I am going to install this just to show you. I have installed the Dokken and activate. And 
Docker needs certain setup, so there are multiple things, but we can skip for the time being, just checking every feature is working or not. So Docker Marketplace, so Docker is now here and uh, over here it is. Yes, here is the token and here it is the dashboard. So it is for multi-vendor facility, just in case if you are going to use this theme for multi-vendor facility, uh, you need to install token in that case only. If not, you should not install this plugin. Okay, so now we are fine and everything is working good for this installation. And I'll show you those tabs that is available in in addition to wordpress and uh, i can check swatches are additional here i'm going to show you so this is for variation swatches and setting all these things so header builder is here so you can use this section for controlling the header and these are already pre-built uh, headers so just remember if when you are editing the website and customizing the website the header section is to be controlled from this header builder and just in case uh, if you are using this home so uh, edit with elementor will show you which header is being used so this is footer one and header one is being used at at this page so um, for editing the header section of this page you have to be uh, here and similarly footer builder is also here I'll show you the elements of footer builder as well just to um, give you an overview and this is the footer builder similarly mega menu is here so mega menu uh, can be edited here and you can add new mega menu as well so this is the option and just remember delete those elements that uh, you are not using at your website just edit the content uh, for using at your website and delete the rest of uh, the waste elements don't keep any additional things that you are not going to use at your website this is very important from SEO perspective so just remember this and okay so uh, I must tell you we first of all we need to activate the main theme because we have installed the theme in the child theme so we now we can activate the main theme okay so all is good and uh, we have seen the mega menu token is already here and we can see the other options like besha options this is being the theme option and finally going to i'm going to show you the theme options and then i'll show you how to edit the content this is the besha options that the theme settings you can say and i'm just going to give you a glimpse of what is available here you can simply check at your own so this is general setting and this is header setting you can select any header from this screen and upload logo from here similarly footer so uh, for uploading logo you have to use this screen and that can be available in header or general so footer is here mobile options so again mobile settings are uh, different mobile setting for mobile you can set another things a styling is here so theme main color can be changed secondary color change can be changed it is very important so just in case if you are customizing the theme and you don't like this particular orange color you can change the color as well okay so uh, typography header mobile and who commerce settings so mini cart pop-up and print crumb shop single product single product advanced recently viewed products account checkout multi vendor okay so there are many settings similar blog settings and social share performance you can improve by including the minified js custom css you can use here and okay so import export option is also here so you can use these options for customizing your website and this is broad settings available and the theme itself and finally we are going to see how we can edit the page content and it is very simple as uh, this theme uses elementor and you can simply edit the content using elementor just open the page that you want to edit and click on edit with elementor and if you are new to elementor you can take a backup of at least for home page uh, using an duplicator plugin so that just in case if you made any mistake you can restore the page so 
better to have a backup of home page or all important pages and okay so this is the animator editor here and this is being the slider revolution section and this element can be edited in the slider revolution i'll show you this where it is so this is slider revolution and i'm going to give you an overview of slider revolution so that you understand where they did the content and okay so i'll show you which slider so this is slider one is being used on this page and we can check the slider one this is slider one and this is empty slider in fact so okay so images are here okay so you can change the images these, these particular image is coming from the media library and you can change the text so our text is here and uh, uh, be careful while using the revolution slider and again uh, you can take backup of sliders just in case if you are not confident how to edit these sliders and use the same dimension image that has been used in the demo uh, and same length content uh, I mean same length text so that you may maintain, uh, maintain the integrity of website again we are coming back to the screen okay so this is page and these elements coming from the um, WooCommerce area okay so this can be edited yes so this is item one two three four and you can edit these items from here as I told you just keep in mind you have to uh, maintain the image file size and image, di image dimension and no, now i clicked here and we can check this is going to a external link so this this is an another tip for you don't let don't keep any external link at your website it is really going to be a blunder from seo point of view all links should be at your own website itself and this is this theme is showing external links so you have to edit all these links so just keep in mind you have to edit all these links for your own website or keep the hash if you are not using just uh, you type like hash if you are not using and update it so don't uh, leave any external link at any page so again this section can be edited and these are from best selling products i earlier shown you uh, how you are uh, filtering the best selling products in this video only okay so best selling products page is different and you can select these options so these elements are these uh, items are coming from the woocommerce listing and this is great it is showing sold okay so it is simple to edit the content and you will be able to maintain your web complete website just in case if you don't need any section you can simply delete this particular section so all is good in this website and now we can conclude that we can select besa as our theme for our upcoming uh, e-commerce website project and you might have certain question regarding this theme don't hesitate in asking any question in the comment section of this video and you can also follow the link to get in touch with me get the theme by following the link get the hosting get the domain name and start building your website okay see you in the next video and i'm going to bring wonderful uh, wordpress resources for you and in the last video i shown how you can integrate your um, google drive with your woocommerce website with your e-commerce website i mean so with your wordpress website that is very important video and if you are using any hosting plan that is having low hosting space you can use this that particular plugin that i shown in the video just find that particular video uh, how you can integrate the google drive with your your wordpress website and you can use the google drive space for your wordpress at your wordpress website that is very important and useful feature for you so you can uh, check that particular video or all those videos and i'm going to bring uh, another great things for you so keep watching keep building thank you